What is something you want to wear for the spring? Let me know in the comments. Okay, I think I finally got all my settings right, so hopefully I look okay and it's focusing on me because we're gonna continue anyway. <sighs> Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vivian, I'm a modest girly, and um, today's video is gonna be talking about springtime, which is my favorite season, I think. I don't know if it's like the winter depression talking or if it's actually my favorite season, but. It's one of my favorite seasons, for sure. And yeah, today we're going to be talking about what I want to wear in the spring. This is not like trend predictions, though there might be some trends, current trends in this video. This is just like things that I've been seeing that I think are cute and that I would like to wear or that I like seeing. I like Pinterest or real life, any other social media. And even if I don't see them, I'm still going to be wearing them anyway because I think they're cute. And that's how your personal style should be. Okay, sorry. After watching the first clip, I realized I did not like how my hair was looking. And yeah. Okay, so let's just jump into it. First thing that I want to wear in the spring that I've been liking and absolutely loving is like the track pants slash track skirt trend. Usually you'd see like the fashion girlies wearing it with like kitten heels or even like a vintage sneaker or a cool sneaker, ballet flats. I just love it. Out of my sisters, I've always been like the tomboy, sporty, active girl. So this is right up my personal alley, personal aesthetic. I love the silhouette that it gives, that like straight silhouette. Even like the ones that are A-line or like the parachute style. I just, there's something about it that's so good. The colors are great. And yeah, it's definitely something that I will be doing. Now, I am a modest girly, so I won't be wearing chalk pants. But what I have been doing is getting pants from the thrift store and turning it into skirts. And then also just buying regular track skirts that they have. I have this really nice navy blue one that I think was my mom or my aunt's. That was really nice that I gave to my sister and now she's all the way in a different province. So I don't have it anymore and I want it back. While we're on this topic of conversation, I recently just thrifted these yellow Nike track pants, which I love. I'm obsessed with. I love the color. Color is another thing that I'll be talking about. And yeah, they're just so good. They have like the Nike on the side and like zipper, a zipper on both sides. I'm currently in the process of already sewing it down. So yeah, it does have a little stain here, but I think it's okay. Um, for now, I'll just leave it or maybe if I find like a cool patch or like a Nike logo, I'll like put that over. But other than that, I love this and I can't wait to wear it. Yeah, so there's that, and I'll definitely be doing it all spring season long, especially going into the summer. They're perfect for the summer. Specifically, Adidas pants. I know Adidas is like all the rage right now, understandably. There's something about the stripes on the side if you're wearing like a colored Adidas pant or skirt, and like the stripes on the side just adds something to the outfit. I just love it, so yeah. Adidas is not something that I had on here, but um, I love the Adidas pants specifically, and I will be thrifting a red pair. I have so much on my Poshmark already, so it's just about hitting that purchase button. This is a perfect segue into something else I would like to do, which is like athletic and dainty aesthetics mixed into one outfit. Like I was saying before, like the track skirt with ballet flats, like a little kitten heel, or like a really feminine ruffly top, I think is so cute not that you have to do it all the time like to me realistically i see me wearing like a track skirt and just like a basic fitted t-shirt and sneakers and calling it a day dare i say crocs i love crocs i'm not a crocs hater but i understand that other people don't like crocs <laughs> but for the days when you want to go out and you want to be cute definitely like mixing that um like sporty element and like chic girly element together is beautiful I've never been the one to be able to stick to one aesthetic and when I do, it just feels wrong. So mixing things is just so on brand for me. It doesn't just have to be with track pants. It could just be like mixing different trends or like different vibes together. That is definitely something that I'll be doing in the springtime. I think when I first 
started my YouTube videos, I loved watching trend videos and I was very much attached to trends. They were very influential in how I dressed and like what I wanted to wear and what I was looking at buying. And I think this past couple months, I've definitely gotten tired of that. I definitely had a fashion fatigue more than once over the last year. And I think why I was getting into these like fashion style slumps was because I was trying to be something that wasn't me. And I'm in this kind of weird phase where I want to go back to what I really enjoy wearing and just trusting my own intuition. But it's because I'm not really seeing that portrayed on like my day-to-day -day life or social media where it's like sometimes I feel like I don't like my outfit when I really do, if that makes sense. Like I'll picture something to, in my mind, put it together, and then I'll look at myself and I'm like, oh, this is so cute. And then if I keep looking at it after a while, I'm like, uh, I don't know. Or like I feel a little self-conscious to wear it outside. So I'm trying to break away from that, break away from the kind of mindset that watching a bunch of trends and letting that heavily influence me has put me in. And I just want to embrace who vegan is on the inside and go with that and wear it confidently and unapologetically. So yeah, if that's something I want to wear for spring, it's an unapologetic, very me style. I don't know if that made sense, but put the pieces together. I honestly just want to apologize again for my hair. The ends of my hair are really defined and curly right now, and I'm seeing it, and it literally just looks like strings popping out of my head. We're going to move past that. <laughs> and, uh, where am I on my list? Okay, so this pattern and color goes together and it is red gingham. I really like red gingham right now and it's definitely something that I want to incorporate in my closet for the springtime and it doesn't have to be like, I don't want a hundred million items that are red gingham. I think just like a cute dress or a skirt or like a bag or like some accessory that I could use in my outfit will be enough to satisfy that craving for me. Um, this honestly came from Pinterest like I just kept seeing it and I was like this is really cute my top right now I don't know if you could really see it well on the camera but it's like a red burgundy color and it's really 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 small squares and I think this also counts for me I think more low a low-key red checker is what I'm liking a bigger size square isn't bad either but I think I prefer the smaller more um, discreet and red is also a color I'm loving right now but I'm gonna do a whole video on red in a separate video as I do I really love doing my color palette videos so look out for that um, something else that I've been loving that I've seen people predict side note I have been mentally in spring for months now since like January printed tees it started with see if I can find it it started with this specific picture on Pinterest that I thought was really cute I always make a Pinterest board for the season by the way um, I start it right away when I feel the inkling to move on to the next season and I just continue adding to it and it really helps me make these videos. Oh no, okay, it was this pomegranate printed tee um, that's from Etsy. And that's the thing, like, why is, why is this shirt $28? I guess it's handmade, but like, I'm not spending $28 on a t-shirt. Though it's so cute. Let me not speak too soon actually because it's so cute. And then I was like, oh my gosh, this is so adorable and then i just kept seeing like other printed t-shirts i'm seeing figs cherries strawberries and they're just blown up and big on the whole shirt and i think that is so cute either as like an oversized t-shirt or like a relaxed or a baby tee i love it all i think they're so cute so i would like a couple of these i was trying to research a way to make one myself i think iron-on printing could be an option but with iron-on printing i don't like that it's kind of like sitting on top and that you could see that glaze i want it to be a part of the shirt so i don't know if that's like screen printing or something but i'll try and figure out a way because i would really like to make and do more things on my own rather than rely on buying stuff that i'm seeing and enjoy the labor of my hands the labor of my hands yeah, I think so. Floral teas, like with an orchid or a lily. Oh my gosh. Florals is a whole other category, so let me just wait to talk about that. Another pattern that I'm liking is stripes. And I think I said stripes for winter as well. I think it would be fun to kind of do a follow-up video of how many of these I actually end up trying. Because it's usually like 10%, to be honest. So I said stripes in the winter, but I'm also saying stripes for the spring because I think they're really, really cute. I think I'm definitely getting, I'm get, I said this already, but I'm definitely getting out of like my winter seasonal 
winter season slum and I'm enjoying the colors now. There's something about the winter that just makes me want to wear black, but there's something about the springtime and rebirth and like the energy and the life that you're feeling all around you that really just makes me want to wear colors. It really does, which is why I even got the bright yellow track bands in the first place because like winter Vivian wasn't touching that. Spring Vivian is saying yes, 100% yes. What was I talking about? Stripes. <laughs> so yeah, stripes I think are a really cute way to add color into your wardrobe, into my wardrobe. And I think I said this in my winter video as well, but not like big, thick stripes. I'm more interested in the thinner stripes and also like asymmetrical stripe patterns. Like there are these knit sweaters that I've seen on Pinterest that the stripes it's definitely handmade and I think it's so cool it's like the stripes are not consistent it's kind of like um, areas kind of going asymmetrical they're uneven they're different on the arms than they are like on the body of the sweater I think they're really cute and I think if I was to do like big stripes that's how I would do big stripes oh like this is so cute and this is totally something that I could make myself if you make things to yourself like knitting or crocheting then there's just that extra personalized element that I'm all for and I'm craving right now. I'm craving. Funny enough, as I was talking about colors and like how I'm getting back into color, pink is not a color that I really like to wear. And I think that's like 50% a lie because I have pink in my closet. But it's not something that I naturally gravitate to. Like I know there's people who naturally like they just love pink I am not that person I prefer not to wear pink at all if I'm being completely honest but I saw this really cute baby pink like fitted bodycon dress and I just fell in love it's so good oh the color is just so soft it's so soft and then the model is wearing it with black so I think the black also helps to like tone it down the black flip-flops or whatever so yeah, I just love that specific shade of pink. It's so soft and pretty. There's like a pink that's like, hey, I'm here, I'm pink, I'm here to steal the show. And then this pink is like, I'm just chilling. I like that pink. The chilling pink, so cute. The dress that I'm talking about is from Motel Rocks. I know I said I was doing a separate video, but I just had to mention it here because it's just so good. It's so good. Different silhouettes is also something that I want to wear in the spring. This goes into another point that I'm going to talk about, but I'm kind of, I'm getting tired of seeing the same thing over and over and over and over again. And it's like, I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it, but I, I want to see something a little bit different. I want to wear and experience things that are a little bit different. Bubble skirts and bubble dresses absolutely obsessed with i love how flouncy and light and just how fun they are i love how fun they are another example that i'm talking about is like the cut of a shirt like an asymmetrical cut either on the top or the bottom and then obviously all the details that you could get like ruching and like seams and all that stuff if you couldn't tell i really 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 want to get into sewing and making my own clothes and anything that just looks personalized and handmade, the designer, the seamstress, um, intentionally made this different is just so satisfying to me. And I want to be able to wear things like that. I want to be able to make things like that. That's definitely a spring, a summer goal for me. So moving on from, oh yes, perfect. I have right under different silhouettes is personalized, unique items. So this could be like handmade items, things that are like re reimagined what there's a specific word those reinvented re upcycled upcycled that's the word <laughs> upcycled upcycled items where you can see there's a personal touch attached to it um i think i was watching a reel the other day and someone was talking about quality of pieces and why people didn't buy things as much like back in the days and obviously not as much as being produced but because of that People were actually finding ways to take care of their clothes and rewear their clothes. And if there was a hole, you either sew up, if you sewed up, you sew up, you fix the hole. If there was like a big hole, you would find another piece of fabric and patch it up. Like you would take your clothes, your shoes to a cobbler. You would, you know, there are professionals and educated people in different areas of fashion and clothing to maintain these items. And I think 
I really want to embrace that part of everyday living that's kind of gone. Like I don't want to just buy something or throw something out if I don't want it anymore. I want to keep it and repurpose it. If anything in my closet has a hole, like I want to sew it back up. If there's a big hole, I want to find a way to make it better and keep it instead of getting rid of it. A goal that I have, we'll see how long this is a goal of mine, but I want every piece of my closet to be extremely unique and not something that you could just buy off of the store, like off of the rack. And of course, this is not for like my whole entire closet, even though I literally just said my whole entire closet. So I want at least one thing in my outfit, let's say that. I want at least one thing in my outfit to look personalized and unique like it has an individual touch that cannot be easily replicated that's what I mean by personalized unique items also just like really fun details that you don't really see like I kind of said like ruching before or just like really cool textures that are combined um, this really has a wide range and I'm kind of blanking out on <laughs> examples but yeah and that's for clothing and accessories chunky jewelry i saw these really cute necklaces on pinterest where it was like a really cute pendant and then it was like a crochet a crochet band part gosh my terminology beading like huge charms i'm already into kind of like chunky jewelry to begin with and i think that is such a cute personalized element that just makes your outfit fun to me i will see myself wearing this all the time it'll be like a basic nice quality fitted white t-shirt denim skirt a really cute pendant necklace and like some cute sneakers and a really cute bag and call it a day that is going to be my spring uniform or at least that's what i have in my hat we'll see or like a track skirt fitted tee a cute necklace cute sneakers end of story colors is the next thing on my list I already said red and pink, but I'm going to save colors for another video, so look out for that. I'll be doing a spring color palette coming to YouTube near you soon. I don't know why I thought I would have to do a whole other video because I'm almost done. Um, another thing that I'm absolutely loving is lace and like crochet texture. I love lace. Lace is so pretty. Like a lace maxi dress or like a lace top or bag or accessory. Um, I already said crochet as well, but like crochet in knit textures, crochet lace, beautiful. I can't wait to learn that. Any like type of really detailed knit textures. I really wanna play around with these different mediums that I could make myself. I already started crocheting a little bit and I've been knitting a little bit for a couple years. Didn't spend enough time to really perfect it or make anything huge, but I love just doing stuff with your hands and being able to see the results right away. So satisfying for me. I need that. I have lace, crochet, and knit kind of in this one area, this one vibe. Usually when you see lace, it's like in cream or like white. They're all lumped in one category. And the word flowy fits in that category, just like light linens and draped texture. Draped texture is draped fabric all fits into that category that could be shirts that could be skirts dresses bags and then layering i had said this in my winter video also but i definitely want to get into layering a little bit more nothing too crazy because i know that would be out of my personal style though i really enjoy seeing like really crazy maximalist layering on social media but i know it's not something i would do myself i'd probably do that more on a small scale I know like the dress over pants and like skirt over pants is a trend and I love that silhouette. I don't wear pants but I would totally do like a dress over a skirt. I've done it already and I just love it. I want to make my own skirt where it's kind of like the Paloma wool. Almost looks like a waitress pants, like it looks like you have an apron. Beautiful! The last thing that I have is florals! Florals for spring? Groundbreaking. I know. It's not groundbreaking, but it is at the same time. My older sister has always been the type to love flowers. She has like her top five favorite flowers. She knows each name. I don't think I was ever that person. And she's been like that for years. I don't think I've really been that person. I love flowers. I think they're beautiful, but I didn't really have more of an interest in them other than like them being visually pleasing. But was it? I think my 17th or my 18th birthday, um, some family got me an orchid and I absolutely fell in love. Orchids are my favorite flowers ever. And it's still alive. It's currently by my grandparents' house. 
um, thriving, so I'm not going to move it yet, but eventually when my room is done, I want my room to be a sanctuary for plants, exotic plants. I want to know their scientific name. I want to take care of them. I'm going to get the humidifier. I'm going to get the lights. I'm going to know. Like, I want to dive into that plant world and... This is a long, short story of why I love orchids and why I want them in everything. Printed tops, like I said before, necklaces, maxi dresses. I just love, I love flowers. If I can't get my hands on a printed orchid or lily t-shirt, I'm definitely, it just occurred to me yesterday that I could try and embroider it instead. So like get a good t-shirt and then embroider it. I definitely want to try that. But yeah, the goal is to be able to make it myself. And yeah, I already said skirts, dresses, tops, accessories, everything. The works, the works. That's so far everything that I want to wear in the spring it's not officially spring yet i think the first day of spring is like the 23rd of march and the time the snow melted like weeks ago it was springtime so i can't wait for everything to be green again ah <sighs> yeah that's all for this video thank you so much for watching let me know if there's other videos that you want me to do for the springtime what's something that you want to wear in the springtime let me know in the comments below give this video a like if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more content from me i'll see you in my next video bye